Right now, the World Health Organization calls the spread of the Zika virus an international emergency. And to the breaking headline about the Zika virus. The virus is, quote, spreading explosively. They're trying to come up with a vaccine against Zika. Studying these mosquitoes is really key to controlling this virus. My name is Rebecca Christofferson. I work with emerging virus that was recently declared a public health emergency globally by WHO, Zika. Zika has been all over the news and it emerged in the Western Hemisphere. Zika, of course, has been linked to a birth defect in Brazil. In my laboratory, we're looking at how does the co-circulation in these pathogens affect transmission. In areas where Zika has emerged, uh, previously circulating was this other arbovirus, dengue. Zika is very closely related to dengue, and so we want to know how does that previous infection with a similar virus like dengue affect your susceptibility if you were to get Zika? Louisiana is a subtropical climate. Neglected tropical diseases that we study, they certainly can establish here in that we have the mosquitoes here that transmit them. Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. Aedes aegypti like urban areas. Aedes albopictus you might know as the Asian tiger mosquito and it's everywhere. We don't have a regional health or a national health anymore. Really, we have global health. Mosquitoes know no border, viruses know no border. When you look at global travel and you look at all the importation cases of Zika and chikungunya and dengue in the past, it really is important for the United States to know the intensity of transmission is in these places. I think it's important for Louisiana to sort of lead the charge on, on recognizing that global health is an issue and we cannot just rely on, on sort of this isolationist view of public health to really get by. We really have to, to take into account they're not called neglected tropical diseases for nothing. And I think it's important for, for people to see that Louisiana is supporting understanding and characterization of these viruses and then potentially the mitigation of transmission.